right, guys, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description and a link in the comments. Please consider donating. Any donations are welcome. I appreciate your support as always and enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Hi, guys. Welcome to the First Division Review Show. Keen Menton is with me as usual. Keen will start off at the Carlisle Grounds and uh, we'll start off with the worst one, I suppose. Bray nil, Cork nil. Um... You know, both teams, Cork City have won a game. Bray still haven't won this season. They're on five points. Cork City are on four points. What can you say about this one? Uh, this was a bad game. Uh, no, it's just two teams as bad as each other at in this game. Look, I think Bray are a lot better than Cork. Don't get me wrong. But in this game, they didn't show it. Mm. I was uh, really, really disappointed. In terms of how they played, uh, I really yeah. thought Bray had a great chance of winning, Keep picking up the first win the season. But now it wasn't the big. And uh, look, I just Cork again, just going through the motions. Uh, just don't know anymore. I really don't. Uh, I actually didn't... thought Keane, this was an opportunity for Cork to win because um, I looked before the game, Bray were missing six, seven first team players. I know Gary Shaw came on, didn't he? But he's been out for a while. Um, in that sense, you can understand a little bit from Bray, but you would have thought Cork City had an opportunity to go and get the three points, but clearly uh, they didn't take that opportunity. No, no opportunity was taken at all. I think Cork were happy with the point. That's the way it looked. Uh, ah. It puts you in a bad mood. It does. I'm serious. Watching Cork every week puts me in a bad mood. And that's me being honest. Like, yeah. Uh, just not good enough. Yeah, you feel sorry for the fans there as well. Bredo, like six games gone, no wins, Keen. I mean, you know, what can you say about them at this minute in time? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit mad. Uh, it really is a bit mad. Look, they're not losing games. So they're not losing ground to teams around them, really, because they're picking up points and stuff like that. But, you know, the win... I have to believe it's only around the corner, you know. That's that's why you have to keep saying to yourself mm. whether they want to believe it or not. But that's you know the win is only around the corner. That's something that yeah you just have to say. But oh, I don't know. I just they need to get some of those players fit because um, they don't really have it the best squad anyway. But to be missing six seven players that are first team players. Um, I know we say it every week, but they badly need Shaw. He was probably rushed into this game when he came on. To be honest, what point did he come on? Do you remember? Do you, do you remember yeah, any idea roughly? On. Yeah, he came on sec- uh, in the middle of the second half towards around 70 or something like that. And how did he look to- off the pace? Uh, ah, yeah, look, you're not, he's not going to be, you know what I mean? He's not going to set the world alone. He's had to be out for a few weeks. So uh, I can't really remember what minute now, I have to be honest. Yeah. But, you know, he was he was, he was, was definitely there. It'll stand him in good stead for next week and the week after and stuff like that to get a couple of minutes on the board. But that's about it, really. Uh, that's probably the only positive out of the game for Bray. <laughs> I think we'll move on. <laughs> At Long Town 1, Cavan Teeley 2. Um, what a result this was for Cavan Teeley. You know, Barnes scored after 43, Hanrahan 69, um, a late OG for Athlone. But seemingly Athlone played better in this game, creating an awful lot of an awful lot of opportunities. But Cavan Teeley, you know, stole it and they'd be delighted to get a win in Athlone, to be fair. Yeah, this was a great game to watch. It really was. It was a game that I really enjoyed looking at. Uh, even when Kevin Teeley went ahead at till one, it was, you know, we thought Atlanta was still going to win it. That's how dominant they yeah. were in the game. So many chances, they were well on top. And uh, look, I think Adrian was disappointed losing three 0 there the other week. Uh, like the performance was a million times better than that. Or winning three 0 yeah. actually, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he made the point that the performance wasn't that great, and it was yeah. better against Kevin Teeley and. Football can be strange, like <laughs> yeah. So look, Kevin Teeley be delighted to make yeah. a win like that. That can really kickstart their season now. Uh, Atlanta still be up there, still be there or thereabouts. But you know, they'd be disappointed they didn't be Atlanta or be Kevin Teeley. They will. They're still top of the league, actually. In fairness to them as well. I don't yeah. know if you've seen uh, <laughs> Pat Devlin's interview after the match, but um, I don't know. I just had to laugh to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, look, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I think the less said about that is probably the better. I think so. Moving on. Check it out if you haven't seen it, guys. Shelburne 2, Treaty United 2. Now, this was a mental game, uh, Keane. Um, you know, both teams are still unbeaten. There were three goals in the last minute. 
Um, how did you <laughs> how did you pick the bones of this one? It wasn't a great game. It really <laughs> wasn't. Because it was one uh, nil up to the last minute, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a great game. Which shells pointed found it very hard to break them down. I watched this game on Friday mm. night after I watched. I think it was Derry and Bowles I watched after mm. uh, live, and then I watched the game. So we, uh, I was I was looking at it and I was saying, you know, you treat you doing well here, you know, they just need to hold out. And the fairness, they held out. They were comfortable enough. Uh, then then it just I don't know what happened. It just it just went crazy for a couple of minutes. Uh, oh God, I've now even words for it, you know. It, when 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 shells go ahead, then the ninety fifth minute, I look, oh, holy Jesus, that that's an actual yeah. great one here. Yeah. And then they go and go say in the ninety seventh minute or something. It was just, oh, what a game! Like what a finish! And you know, this is what we, this is why, and this is why we watch league of World of football. Uh, this is why we watch any football, yeah. any league. You know, it's moments like this that you'll never forget. Mm. And honestly, I really thought. Uh, I thought the game was petering out. Did you one nil as such? One nil. Then yeah. when Treaty went ahead, I thought he got out of jail. <laughs> oh, sorry, when Shells went Delbert, ahead, yeah. they definitely got out of jail. And then, oh, I, just, I can't get over it now. In fairness, it was too hard to call. I don't know whether the ball was over the line or not. I couldn't say. I really couldn't. Uh, I believe the cameras are uh, generate. Look, like, so nobody is manning the cameras in the fourth division. Mm. So it's like uh, it's like there's a thing called VO. I think any coach doesn't know it. It's yeah. like this camera that you set up yourself and it follows the ball. It's automatic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's a, it's a little bit, Different. little bit mad because, uh, like, I know, for example, with Belvo, we have it. And if there's kids kicking a ball in the corner, <laughs> it'll pick that ball up. I won't pick the ball up that's in the match. So, uh, that it's tough, but, you know, in the League of Ireland game, players don't warm up with a ball or not, so your hand mm. up. It, it's a little bit strange. I don't know whether it was over the line or not. I really don't. Uh, it looked close. I've seen a close up picture of it. Uh, I, I thought Clarkey saved it. Uh, Keen, what do you think this does for Treaty, though? I mean, they're still unbeaten. To get a point like the way they did as well at Talca Park against Shelburne, like, do you see them as a threat like in this league? Do you see them as a genuine, even playoff contender? Yeah, look, they're going to pick up yeah. points. I think, I think we can see that early on. Mm. Uh, they're going to take big points off big teams. Look, they'd be disappointed considering, you know, they kind of kept shells out for I know, 90 minutes, basically, mm. and uh, kept them out. And, you know, shells did have that chance. It's not going to say they didn't. But, you know, they'd be disappointed that they only drew that game. Yeah. Uh, they'd be really disappointed, especially, like, I know... They show great characters to get the draw in the 97 minute and stuff like that. Mm. And we feel like a win. But after 90 minutes, when you're 1 0 up, you know what I mean? If you're 1 0 up and the game finishes too well, we'd kick myself. <laughs> so that's the only other side with another red card as well. But, yeah. You know, you on, really, yeah. really good from three, either a breath of fresh air, and it's exactly what we need in the fourth division, you know. And they'll definitely be there or thereabouts. I think. Uh, themselves they'll be up there for playoffs I think they've made an early contention for that I didn't think they'd be up that end of the table even at this stage so look I think there's no pressure on them and you know that can kind of play into your hands as such so it's brilliant yeah absolutely uh, speaking about red cards Wexford FC nil UCD 6 uh, it was 5 nil at half time but the first minute uh, Jimmy Corcoran got sent off did you see that red card what was that yeah it was, it was. I can't. I don't understand. Uh, oh, genuinely thought it was in the box. Yeah. Now the two UCD players jumped around like mad jokes. Kind of, probably kind of way after referee's decision because. And let's be honest. He, if it's close, keen a forward or a midfielder, or whatever, you got to do that anyway and chance your arm. Yeah. But you know, we always look at reactions as well. Mm. And I looked at and the two of them now were adamant by the looks of it that mm. I went out oh I, I don't know I really don't uh, no I, I, I like a red card that early on you killed the game even completely if, even if it was a yellow card even if 
look, I don't know whether he took it out or not. Mm. I don't know whether it was outside the box or not. It was very hard to see from the camera angle. Yeah, the one I seen, it was very difficult as well. Now, yeah, it's very say. difficult. What I'm saying, that's a yellow card. It's not a red card. Mm. So uh, that was a shocking decision, especially so early on the game. Like, uh, I couldn't believe when I seen him going to his back pocket. I, I, I really couldn't. I thought he was getting his notebook out to, to write his name down. That's what I swear to God, I couldn't believe it. And even when he held the card up, it was very hard to actually see the card. See what colour it was. See what colour it was. It was kind of glowing. So it was just yellow. And then I seen him heading off. I couldn't believe it. Uh, did he complain? Really... Did Corcoran complain or did he just walk ah, of off? Of course. Or... Look, look, yeah, he did, course. yeah. They're going to complain. and uh, it, it really killed the game. And, you know, Wexford, it was a right off from that minute. It really was. Yeah, uh, let him scored after three minutes. So that was literally yeah. it, yeah. It, it was a right off. And look, just like it was, <laughs> it, was a, it was a tough watch. Uh, UCD was just wave after wave, possession after possession, pass after pass. A couple of penalties uh, as well. So it just went completely wrong for Wexford. Another keeper sent off later in the game. Uh, Carl Fitzsimons, I think, had to go and go. <laughs> it's madness. Like. Yeah, it, it was crazy. You know, I, I watched the first half and then I checked the results and the same with a red card. Now. So I ended up watching the second half just for watching it say like and uh, yeah it was just one day's mad games you know and do you think the fact know, that Wexford had a young team as well and later on then they kind of lost their heads a little bit too or yeah it was like Anthony Boatman was back reffing games <laughs> uh, that's what that's what it looked like to me you know we Jesus Ant Boatman was very fond of a red card it was like oh, oh, honestly I'll never forget when Pat's beat Raw was 4-0 in Tallaght yeah and Derek Ford gets a red card for based on missing the show. <laughs> then all of a sudden, Saki O'Connor gets sent off, and then you know, all the Pats fans are giving him a bit of stick, and then he's sticking his fingers over us and all that. You know, you know, Anthony Butmo was the center of attention that yeah, day, and yeah, he's the center of attention in most games. But look, I don't like a lovely fella, absolutely lovely mm. fella. Oh mm. my god, he just that referee reminded me of him now, I swear to god. Uh, it was just it was bad it was, so it's from you know, UCD's point of view though like they won't give two hoots like and they won this weekend if you get me because that loan uh, were beaten at Shelburne Drew so they're tucked into the table second place uh, again unbeaten by the way three wins three draws 18 goals scored I know they got six in this game but uh, they'll be absolutely delighted with that, that yeah. start uh, Galway finally got their first uh, win of the season I won't say three points but their first win of the season Again, another mad game, Keane. I mean, Lions got sent off after 19 minutes. Galway went down and got three penalties in the match. I mean, it's one of those crazy weekends in the first division. It seemed to be red yeah. cards and penalties galore in games. Yeah, I watched this game live. Uh, What'd you make of the red, by the way? Yeah. I, I would have now. I would have. Hmm. Uh, I would have probably. I would have accepted that now. Uh, it was very early, though. That's the only thing. 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, it was very early in the game, you know. But look, God, we won't care. They got the win. They won. They won, and they won comfortably. Mm. Uh, How did they play? Did they play any better as such, or did the red cards yeah, simply they played well? Look, obviously the red card and stuff makes it easier for you. Uh, do, yeah. So you know they only got a bit of luck that way. Mm. But but you know you have to you have to create your own momentum in these in these games and in mm. this league. So. You know, I was impressed with Galway with how they performed and how they got the big win in the end. That'll do them the world of good. Mm. Uh, big one next week now. They need to build on it. That's the way mm. it is. You just you have to keep building on things in this league. So, mm. you know, they're still, they're still miles off where they should be. So, the yeah. more points they can pick up, the better. That's true. Actually, looking at them as it stands, they're actually on nine points, um, believe it or not, which is mad yeah. to think of. They're only four points off, essentially, at Lone Town, which is actually... It's difficult to fathom that, isn't it? Really, actually, yeah. when you think about it. Um, Cole for their part, disappointing. Yeah, really disappointing. The red card again, just yeah, they kind of kind of threw the spanner in the walks there mm. for them. But, mm. You know, they were they were okay. You know, they they had a couple of chances and mm. they weren't miles off. Uh, but you know, it's the scoreline that frightens me. So, you know, you're losing by that much. What about the three penalties, Keane? Or maybe the two penalties, because the first penalty was in relation to the red card. 
Um, did they simply just lose their discipline a little bit there, do you think? Uh, yeah, look. Uh, they lost their heads a little bit. No, you, want to, you want to make up for your errors, let's say, and then you end up making more errors because of it. But look, the red card, the double whammy and stuff like that that they're speaking about, you know. It's a killer, probably, isn't it? Red and the penalty. Like, it's yeah, really probably, a killer. It probably shouldn't have been a red that yeah. way because... They speak about it like that, but look, the tackle, I think, or the, the coming together now was a red card for me. But considering he gives a penalty, that's the new rule or something, supposedly. But ah, it was just, it was mad games this weekend. Honestly, it was, just, it was crazy. Yeah, I mean, you just saw overall um, the team with the extra player really took advantage, I suppose, this weekend, you could say. <laughs> yeah, look, that's what you want to see, you know. Yeah. You want to Ideally, I'd like to see 11 v 11 on the pitch playing well. Uh, but look, Pats took it two weeks ago. We played dirty. Uh, you know, you, you get them points, you take them. Uh, you get you get that chance of 10 men. You're playing against 10 men. You need to raise the bar a little bit more and get the result and come out comfortably. And that's what, you know, we've seen most teams down this year in the league. So, you know, it's it's what you like to see. You look, you know, there'll be no, there's nothing worse than not picking up three points against a team of 10 men. Uh, yeah. Oh, what a, what a weekend of football! I think <laughs> anyone like anyone that has the uh, LOI TV, you know, get on and watch watch the games. Like just watch them back. That honestly, they're excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Keen, thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. And let's know what you think in the comments. Thanks a million. Cheers, Keen. Thanks, bud.